Good morning, people. Paul Paul Sammy and Allie Bird here. The other day, I made a video on planting tomatoes, how to care for them, how to plant them. Everything looked good. And my wife and I took a three-day cruise down the coast. Come back, and guess what? Two of my plants was under heavy assault with bugs, had holes all in the leaves. During that video, <laughs> I made a statement. The plants are pretty, the leaves are all perfect, no insect damage at all. At the end of that video, I made reference to my milk water, soap water, whatever you want to call it. And the reason I call it that is when you mix it and shake it, it looks like milk. Okay, but it's not. So anyway, I, I've been questioned on, okay, you do a lot on a video about the soap water. We want to know. So here's how I make it. Understand, I make it very, very weak. I'd rather treat a plant 10 times and watch it grow than treat it once and watch it die. And that's what happens. You can make it as strong as you want it. Just be cautious. So what I do, you got hydrogen peroxide. One tablespoon, okay? You don't have to be exact. You can eyeball it if you want to. All right, there's my hydrogen peroxide. So that's out the way. And it's just straight off the shelf, no big time. Clean it out the way. Now I come back, Dawn liquid, soap for dishwashing. It could be ivory liquid, it could be shampoo as far as that goes, I reckon. I'm not sure about the shampoo, I use dish soap. All right, one tablespoonful. Now. The reason for the peroxide, that's the antifungus, also puts oxygen back around the roots. And if, you, if your plant's kind of water bound around the roots, that'll help get oxygen back to it and let it survive until the water kind of evaporates. Also, the soap, basically all it does is keep that peroxide, this, in solution. Now, I forgot one item, give me a second. I keep all these ingredients in my, in my shed. By the way, the background noise is air conditioner. I'm in South Louisiana. I'd rather have the noise than have to stay in this hot shed. Okay, now, this soap keeps the peroxide and the oil in suspension. And this also is one tablespoonful. Now, when you spray your plants with this stuff, what it does is the uh, soap keeps the oil and that in suspension. This smothers the eggs that you're, you're, you're cooking oil. It could be olive oil, it don't matter. Smothers the eggs and, and, and the insects and kills them. But like I said, this is a very weak solution. And that's the way I make it. Uh, this is for tomatoes here. Now, if some plants you can make it a whole lot stronger. It won't hurt a thing. Then you fill it up with water. Plain old water. You bring it on up. To, oh, the water is right about here on a quart. Okay. And you take and put your little sprayer in it. By the way, this is homemade. Wrong one. I have four or five homemade sprayers here. You get your oil in it, and you give it this. It starts to look like milk. Now, you can spray that on your plants early in the morning, late in the evening, and you're pretty safe. Or even during the day if you spray it lightly. Now, like on my figs, your figs, anybody's figs, you have... Sometimes you have a uh, problem with wilt. The leaves turn brown and want to fall off the tree, and that's usually caused really by uh, moisture. But what you do is, when that happens, and you got a serious problem, you bring in your heavy hitter, vinegar. Now people, that'll burn your plants up. One tablespoonful mixed with this, in this. Shake it up good, spray your plants heavy. 
real heavy. Let it set 10, 12 minutes, and then you wash that plant off real good. Wash it really good. If you don't, it's going to die. But what will happen then, the brown wilt is usually taken care of with one application because this puts the oxygen back in there and moisture is what usually causes your wilt. So that is one thing you can do. Now your tomatoes, when they start to turn yellow, which I've got some out there looking like they want to, Epsom salt. This will turn those tomatoes back green as who'd have thought it in just, in just a small amount of time. Uh, you sprinkle about a tablespoon around each plant and water it down and forget about it. Three or four or five days down the road, then plants start turning bright green. That's magnesium. That's all that is. Epsom salt's magnesium. Now, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to show you what I do to salvage those plants. Okay, this is my tomato plant. I don't know if you can see the holes in the leaves or not, but the bugs got on it heavy in just three days. All right, what I did, and what I did already yesterday, I'm doing it again today, spray it with your soap water, milk water, whatever you want to call it. All right, spray it, no problem. Now, this plant should come on back in a couple of days. Now to help it, what I will do is this. I will take and sprinkle, which I have done twice, but I'm, that's, that's why I'm putting a small amount. But you can put a couple of tablespoonfuls around the plant. Now what that does, this turns that plant bright green, if you'll notice the green plants. Now, when you do all that, and in South Louisiana, you better check the temperature of the water coming out of your hose pipe or you'll cook your plants. All right, you wet it down, you get all the Epsom salt into the ground. And on top of that, notice how this plant is kind of red. What I did, I sprinkled red pepper on it, cayenne pepper around the bottom. That stops the slugs, they won't touch it. Any soft-bodied insects won't touch it. It hurts them. And squash. Tabasco sauce, put it in the hole where the squash blower, blower is. Put a little Vaseline over the hole to seal it, just a small amount. That bug's coming out of that squash. He'll come out, he can't take it. The Tabasco lights him up and he comes out. That's all you gotta do. You gotta keep an eye on it and take care of it. Like and subscribe. This is why you get natural pollinators. You need them. They'll make your little garden come out beautiful.